Let's look at the latest Cricut feature, layers in Cricut Design Space. Hi, and welcome to my craft room. My name is Kelsey. I also call myself Dinosaur Mama. And today we are looking at the latest Cricut feature, which is a layering feature where you can take an image and turn it into a layered SVG file. I'm not gonna actually make a full project today. I'm just gonna show you what the process is using layers and my two cents on it. Last week on May 20th, Cricut did this big update with the layers feature and they messed up a whole bunch of stuff, which I'll discuss in a minute. And I took the week off and came back. So I'll go over that and why I took the week off uh, over in the video. But they are always doing all these updates and I kind of feel like they update one thing and they give us a new feature and it's a paid feature and then they mess up something else. But you know what? So is life, you have to wait, find your workaround, right? So let's jump over into Cricut Design Space and look at this new feature. So I updated my Design Space a day ago and I had actually taken last week off completely from Design Space because they had an update last week on Sunday. So that would be May 20, 20th. And in that update, I was getting an error of uploading my own SVG files. They have since fixed that, which is great, but I was so frustrated and there was a fix that I found through someone on Instagram and now I'm blanking on their name. The Salty Yankee. She makes SVG files as well in Inkscape and she had put up an Instagram post saying that if you switch to beta mode, which I don't like being in, that your uploads will work. Basically, Cricut has two modes that you can be in and I'll show you how to get to that. So when you're in your settings here, it says right here, application experience, beta or live. You'll see I'm back in live now. Um, beta is basically where they start launching all of the features before they put them on live. You will see some features though, like um, create a sticker. So if I put in just a random shape, just so I could get it up here, it says beta. It still is in the live version. I can still use it, but it just means that they're still testing out some of the features. So I am in live right now and today we are going to check out their newest feature which is the layers feature where you can take an image and you can make it into an SVG file. Now there is a free version of this. It's called PNG to SVG so you can upload there and it will convert for you in the same kind of manner that this will do. So let's look at this new feature. So I'm going to upload my image here. So here I have my image of Stitch. Now this isn't the clearest image and you can kind of see it's a little blurry, but that's, that's okay. And I forgot to mention that this is an access feature only. So I don't truly believe that you should have to pay for this because there is a free version of it online. And I'll have that linked below for you to go and use the free version of it. But it is a paid thing only. Now, if your image had a background, this is where you would remove it. And of course, um, right, you could just do, I don't have a background, but I'm gonna hit it. And this kind of made it a little more pixelated, so I'm just gonna revert it back. And now, um, I'm not gonna reduce the colors, I'm not gonna change anything here, I'm just gonna hit apply and continue. So now you're gonna come to this, this, uh, this page. And so I'm gonna click multiple layers, and I'm going to hit continue. Flat graphic would mean a print then cut. Single layer is just going to give you the black outline. So we're going to go to multiple layers and we are going to hit check it out. And so here we are going to go from two and then let's go up to, I would say seven because like these are kind of similar, you know, these are kind of similar. So I feel like seven is enough. The max you can do on this is going to be nine. So now if I go through right here, we go. There's my purple layer. See, like, I don't really understand this, to be honest. There's my blue layer, my dark blue layer, right? Black. Okay, so some of them I definitely think I can get rid of, too. So, like, even four. All right, so we have blue, pink, blue, black. And here it is all together. I do feel like it needs a white. So let me add in one more. There we are. I was definitely missing those teeth. And so... Here is our image. Now, I don't love that the black is like an outline, but that's okay. So the last thing I wanna talk about is the output style. Now, stacked is going to give me this white background. The way I would have done it is a black background <laughs> and then sliced everything in, but it does work, I guess. You know, like this is fine. It's just kind of, to me, it's a little backwards. 
That's okay. Like, there's a solid white background for only his little teeth. I don't know. Just seems kind of silly. Does it work, though? Yes. Now, if you go into Sliced and hit this, it's going to slice the layers. So I guess this is a little bit better of a choice, kind of. I'm not, I don't know. I'm a little skeptical of this whole thing because I really would like this to be a solid black background. Now, what we can do is contour, and I will show you at the end. So here are your options for Sliced. I... I guess it's good, right? It's pretty good. Okay, so we have this as well. So my if we look though, when they put them all together, there are like gaps and stuff, but let's look at it once it's on the canvas. Let's go down to advance. So smooth, no, let's see what low does. Ooh, don't like that. And then high, so we're just gonna leave that off. Reduce noise. Oh, look at added on stuff up here. And then low. And then none. Okay, and then simplify low, high, and then none. So those are all the different things that you can do here. And then I'll hit continue and you can upload. Okay, so here are our, our here's our sliced image on the canvas. I'm going to show you the non-sliced version as well right after this. So if you wanted to make this have a solid black background so that you could layer everything, you'd hit contour and then I would just hide all contours and send it back. Um, if you still want those little things though, you do have to click those back on. So I would just hide them all. And then I would send this one to the back. So I, I mean, this isn't the worst, right? It's also not, not the best, but it isn't the worst. And here's the stacked version of the file to see the difference. So now do I think that this is a perfect new feature? No, not really. Not really at all, if I'm going to be honest. Um, but it does work. So now I do have a layered image. And I do feel like the sliced version is the way to go over this version. I just kind of feel like this is wasteful if you're doing vinyl and if you're doing paper, it's kind of thick and also you'll have to place down weird pieces. I don't know, um, but that's just my opinion on that. So, you know, of course you can, if this is like, this will work for you, awesome, but you can always use a different converter or I like to, when searching for images, look for coloring pages and then convert them into layered SVG files with Inkscape or with Silhouette Studio, which I have tutorials on and I will link them below. But this is the newest feature. Let me know what you think about it. Personally, I don't, I mean, I'm not going to keep a Cricut Access. I only got it for the one month. Um, personally, I would not use this feature, but that's just my two cents. But let me know what you think if you're going to use it. Um, I definitely think it needs a lot of tweaking before it goes, um, it gets to be where we want it to be. Thank you for joining me today as we looked at the latest Cricut feature. I hope you learned something. If you feel like I didn't use it properly, please let me know how I should have used it because I would love to be able to use this properly and to get layers that would work really well with a project. Don't forget to check out the description for a free version of the PNG to SVG creator, as well as a link to my blog where I have over 800 free SVG files for you to download. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me so much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel where I come out with crafty videos every week and share this with one of your friends who has not seen this update or is curious about it. I will see you soon in my craft room and stay crafty.